Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to show you how to make a fairly silly party pork pie with boiled egg down the middle. Gala pie. And I want to give a, a shout out to our friend Dr Neil Thomas who used to be our neighbour two times in Madrid and he's uh, a great pie connoisseur and he's the only person who ever bought a gala pie off me for his <coughs> birthday party a few years ago and it went down a storm. Uh, nobody seems to know quite why it's called gala pie but it's fairly obvious it's it's a special thing for a special occasion and most recipes for making gala pie at home uh, they have you use just normal boiled eggs you cut the pointy ends off and put them in side by side which is a bit rubbish because not all of your pie slices will have the same amount of egg running through them nobody's complaining but it's just you know nicer if it's all the same anyway so what you need in order to do that is a thing called a long egg which I've made in a previous video and the link should be on the screen now if it's not it'll be in the comments underneath anyway gala pie marvelous difficult but worth the effort I think so let's do it ingredients for the pastry we need 500 grams of plain all-purpose white flour and a teaspoon of salt 200 mils of hot water 250 grams of lard cut into small pieces. First thing we need to do is melt the lard into the water. So we've got the water in a small pan, we'll just add the lard and we'll put this on medium heat to simmer until the lard is melted. Try not to boil it. Now we just stir in the salt and add about half of the melted lard and water. Chuck the rest of it in and stir it again and when it's all more or less mixed in we'll just tip it out onto the worktop and we'll just give it a little massage to get the last bits incorporated so this this is your classic hot water pastry it's the one that's always used for pork pies and I always use it for all my savoury pies because it's so easy to make and it's very tasty now we'll just wrap this in plastic film and stick it in the fridge to cool down to more or less room temperature. Right, ingredients for the pie filling. I've got 600 grams of pork belly, or you could use shoulder. You just want something that's got plenty of fat, or you could just use ordinary pre-made minced pork. But I prefer the texture I'll get doing it this way. And then the seasoning, this, this is enough stuff to do twice as much as I need. I've got three teaspoons of salt, I've got eight sage leaves, I've got one and a half teaspoons of white pepper, one teaspoon each of mace, nutmeg and ground coriander. So we need to chop the sage as finely as we can and the best way to do that is roll it up like a cigar and then cut it into very thin strips. Oh by the way this is a spice mix you would use for Lincolnshire sausage which are known for being very sagey in flavour. And then we just cut them across the other way. And this smells amazing. Okay, finely chopped sage. And now we put the sage in a jar along with all the spices and the salt and pepper. And we'll just give that a good old shake. Get it all mixed together. And that's ready to use. Now to prep the pork for mincing, it needs to be in bits that are small enough to go through your mincer and you need to get any rind off it. So I'm going to fit the coarse plate onto the mincer. Now we switch it on. So it makes a terrible noise. <laughs> and uh, just add the meat and occasionally a bit of seasoning and push it through with the pushy thing. So that looks um, moderately disgusting but uh, it will taste nice. And we'll just squidge it all together, pop a bit more seasoning in. So we've probably had two teaspoons of this seasoning mix in there and then we'll wrap that in film and chill it until we're ready to use it. Okay ready to make the gala pie. So I want some flour on my worktop and I want some pastry. I actually want about a third of that for the lid. I'm using this loaf tin which is just over eight inches 21 centimeters by 11 centimeters that's 
four and a half inches. Okay, so roll out the pastry into more or less a rectangle and then just cut around the rim of the tin. Put that on one side and, uh, oh no, there's one more thing. We need to make a big hole in the top. That's where the jelly is gonna go in when we're finished. Now we want to roll out the rest of the pastry into a big rectangle that will be the bottom case of the pie. Even though this is a non-stick tin, I'm gonna uh, cover the inside with flour. But we need to be absolutely certain that there's no sticking going on. And a load of flour on the pastry as well. Belt and braces like. What we need to do is gently ease the pastry into the tin. We don't want any creases or folds. We're just kind of stretching it into shape. A little tip if you've got long fingernails, just use a blob of pastry to push the main pastry down. Okay, now trim off the excess pastry. Leave a little bit of a rim to form a seal with the lid. And pop that and the lid into the fridge for about half an hour to rest. Okay, now I'm going to do some leaves and berries and things to decorate the top with. So you want to roll a bit of pastry out as thin as you can and then get creative. Right, so we're ready to put the pie together. I've got all my bits here. I've got the oven preheating to 180 degrees Celsius. I want to put a layer of the filling down at the bottom. Then we get our wonderful long egg. If you're too lazy to make your own long egg, you can do it with boiled eggs with the ends cut off and just place them in side by side. It's rubbish that, but you know, it'll still work. So long egg, not quite long enough, never mind. We'll just pack a bit more meat on at the ends. And then fill it with meat over the top and at the sides. Now then, moisten the edge of the base with water and pop the lid on. Press it down firmly all the way around to get a good seal. And then raise up the edges so that they stand vertically and they don't actually overhang onto the rim. Because that's where you tend to get sticking happening. We're not wanting sticking. Thank you. And then just um, fiddle about with it to make it nice and smooth on the join. Maybe do a bit of crimping. Okay, now we're just going to paint it with uh, glaze. This is a beaten egg with some milk added to it. And you could actually leave it like that, but um, it is a, a gala pie, a celebration pie, so some decoration is in order. I'm going to build a little chimney around the hole. Stick a leaf on and some tendrils or stalks or whatever and some berries. That's our fab looking pie and that goes in the oven for 15 minutes at the high temperature and then we'll turn it down to 150 degrees and leave it for another hour. I could be wrong but I think that is a magnificent looking pie. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna let that cool down for half an hour and then try and get it out the tin. Okay, that's cool enough to handle. So I'm gonna see if I can get it out of the tin. Oh yeah. Now the final step with the pie is to put the jelly in. And there are those who don't like the jelly and there are those who say, if it hasn't got the jelly, it's not proper pork pie. I'm one of the latter. The traditional jelly for pork pies is made from split pig's trotters boiled up with a few vegetables for a couple of hours and that's fine but I'm cheating. I've got 250 ml of beef stock simmering, well coming to a simmer, a small amount of warm water and half a sachet of gelatine. So we dissolve the gelatine in the water and then we add it to the stock and we'll let that simmer for five or ten minutes till it's nice and smooth and the gelatine is completely dissolved. And now to put the jelly in, you need a funnel into the, the big hole in the middle of the lid that we made right at the start and you just pour it in and then stick it back in the fridge for 
an hour or so for the jelly to set. Then you can eat it. Woo yeah. Right, jelly's in. Hopefully, well, it will be set. Uh, so now, let's cut it open and see what we've got. You ready? Whoa! <laughs> okay, so the yolks, not in the middle. Oh, and it's gone, gone a bit grey around the edge. However, I think that's, that's a fairly convincing garlic pie. I'll eat that. In fact, I'm going to. Enjoy. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. And don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching. Come back soon.